Absolute love. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Hugh. Hi, I'm Deshaun. And we want to talk about spectating. Uh, Deshaun, how does spectating work at the moment? Um, right now, we have two modes. One is uh, follow cam, which basically follows one player around, uh, and the other one is free fly cam, which gives the uh, operator the ability to roam around the map with no clipping. Uh, the uh, follow cam is a little problematic because at the moment, at the moment the player dies, it, it cuts you to another player. It's all kind of disorienting. Messy, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, and uh, watching you uh, cast a game a week ago, uh, where you had to fly across the map to uh, to get to the action, um, I decided to try something different. Yeah, you see, Deshaun never stops working on NS2. He works on NS2 during the day in the office, and then he goes home, and he works on NS2 at home in his own time. And Deshaun decided that he would try something a little bit cool to help me out, because uh, flying through the map all the time and missing action is no fun. And we have named it... Skycam. It was actually a user. <laughs> well, it was all Deshaun's coding. All I provided was the name. And now we're going to give you a little preview of what Skycam is and what you can look forward to in spectator mode in the future. Enjoy. Imagine you've just joined up a game and you're spectating it. The first thing that'll happen is you'll probably go to the hive or the command station and try to follow the players as they do their opening moves and try to find the other side and you'll only be able to view one at once. With Skycam, pressing space gives you a top-down RTS view so you can scroll around the map using your mouse on the edges of the screen or the WASD keys and move anywhere on the map you like and look down. So for example, you could come over to the marine base very, very quickly and maybe find a skulk getting killed by Dushan. And not only that, you can pop back up anytime you want. You can tap the spacebar anytime, and you can also click on the minimap to move between uh, locations on the map. So maybe you want to watch the hive for a while, then check on the marine tech, and then find a skulk running down trying to flank the marines. Using the click on minimap, you can jump all over the map and spectate a lot easier. There's no more flying through geometry or any of that trying to get to a battle because it's raging on the other side of the map. And again, at any time, you can switch back down and uh, view the battle or whatever's happening from a more cinematic, free look uh, perspective. And also, what we've implemented is kind of a zoom feature like in Supreme Commander. So you can be uh, flying around, switch into the sky cam with the spacebar, and then zoom in and out using the arrow keys. So you can get in for a nice close view, and then zoom out again for a nice wide open view. You can zoom out as much as you want, but if you zoom out too far, you'll start to get uh, pop in. But as you can see, there's a nice wide uh, range of zoom levels that you can use with sky cam to get the perfect angle on whatever you are trying to watch. And we're really hoping that this kind of system is going to be a boon for casting the game. Uh, competitively, so eSports style, and you'll definitely be seeing it on NS2HD uh, coming this weekend when there's going to be quite a few competitive matches being played. So jump in the forum thread on the blog, guys, to uh, tell us what you think of Skycam and what you'd like to see from it in future. Hope you've enjoyed this cast. See you all soon for more.